Yeast in the tank is a healthy alternative to a food that many vegans miss the most. Hello, sharks. I'm Beth Zotter. And I'm Amanda Stiles. We're from Berkeley, California, and we're the co-founders of the Umaro Protein Company. The plant-based meat category is exploding, but everyone's using the same proteins. It's time for a sea change, and we're building something that could change everything. This is Umaro, seaweed that's been transformed from plant to protein. Wow. Seaweed is surprisingly high in protein, and it's one of the fastest growing plants on Earth. Seaweed requires no land, no fresh water, and no fertilizer to grow. It's a superfood for the planet. We are pioneers at the forefront of a new frontier in protein. We're developing advanced systems in high-tech ocean farming and precision protein extraction that will unlock the ocean as our future source of protein. It's massive, but none of that really matters unless it tastes good. <laughs> yep. So we're using it to create America's favorite food. It's the holy grail of plant-based meat. Sizzly, salty, delicious <laughs> yes. bacon. I love bacon. <laughs> Umaro Superfood Bacon is the first plant-based bacon your dad is gonna like. <laughs> There's two kinds of bacon lovers in this world. The ones who like it crispy and the ones who like it soft and chewy. Either way you like it, We've made bacon that's just like the real thing and will blow your mind. Huh. Bacon is huge, but it's just the beginning. We're asking for $500,000 in exchange for 2% equity oh, stake in I the knew. future of wow. protein. Hello. Who's ready to bring home the bacon? Gotta try it. <laughs> this better taste good. So what you have in front of you is a classic American sandwich, BLT. BLT is made with extra crispy bacon, but for those of you who like it soft and chewy, our bacon is pre-cooked. On your left, you have the bacon oh. right out of the package. And in the middle is just right. The crispy's okay, the chewy not so much. Oh, it's not, which one's this? The chewy one that's right out of the box. Most I, people are gonna like the crispy bacon, I which is the middle. I love bacon, don't love this. Crispy's good. It doesn't really one? taste like bacon. No, the crispy one does. I mean, it's salted, right? It's got that cured taste. Just try it in a sandwich. It's great in a sandwich. Like, really good. I think in your sandwich, it's pretty nice. So you're, you're 87 calories for two strips. So compared to real bacon, how many calories in a strip of real bacon? It's very similar. So we have, a, we have a similar amount of fat, a little bit lower protein. But what we're going for here is to get the, the juicy, fatty texture of bacon. What's your background? Where did you go? Like, how did you come up with it? So first of all, let me tell you, the, my mission is to protect this amazing planet that we live on. My background is in renewable energy. And a few years ago, I received a $5 million research grant from the Department of Energy to build and engineer offshore seaweed farms for fuel. I knew that animal protein was a huge contributor to global warming, and I realized that seaweed had an immense potential to be a planet-friendly source of protein. And how did you two find each other? We're actually from the same county in Virginia, but we didn't meet until we were in Berkeley, and I went looking for someone who was an expert in protein. First off, my mission is to reduce the factory farming of animals. And I think the best way to do that is by making plant-based foods that are so delicious, people would rather eat them than the animals. So I earned a PhD in plant biochemistry to give me the expertise to make top of the line plant-based foods. How many other competitors do you have? We're the first and only company to commercialize seaweed protein. And we have foundational intellectual property across the value chain. We have patent applications on the protein separation process. We have patent applications on using our protein in plant-based meats. And we have a patent application on the fat mimetic that we've made. So you're not selling this product yet? This is a prototype. It's what a prototype. you have in front of you is the first 500 slices ever made. What does this cost to make and what do you sell it for? Right, so we'll be launching in food service. Food service will pay $18 a pound. For comparison, uh, food service currently pays about $15 a pound for real pre-cooked bacon. Okay. We'll get, we'll get uh, $12.60 from the distributor. And right now, our cost of goods is about $7.30. We'll bring that down to $5.20. Other people are gonna have access to seaweed, right? Right. And there's others that are working on a, an alternative process that is similar to yours. You just think your efficiency of the protein is better. Our patent applications cover the use of seaweed protein, 
in plant-based meat. You said bacon was just the beginning, so what else are you planning? So we're really excited to keep moving in the breakfast meat category and also in other cured meats. I'm really excited to make pepperoni so and you salami. want to reinvent the wheel and make it from scratch. You want to make a sausage. They want you want to make the patties. Industry. Yeah. Yeah. You want to do all that we're, stuff. We're going to be one of the giants in this industry uh, in the I next decade. Where you're losing me is you're saying the business today is worth $25 million. And you're not capturing for me how you're going to get that market. If I'm a consumer and I walk into a store and I see a soy-based product and I see your product, why would I pick up your product? No one is going to make anything close to as good as, well, as our bacon. So it's meat. qualitative. You'll buy, buy ours because it tastes better. like bacon. I don't know if it tastes just like bacon, though. It's a prototype. We're going to keep improving it. <laughs> <laughs> this is our first batch. But with our first batch, we've already gotten a purchase order. We're in conversations with two additional restaurant chains. I can't cross the bridge to the $25 million for a 2% investment based on our bacon tastes better. I'm out. We are at the early stages of a revolution in plant-based food. The companies that establish the leading products in each category right now will be giants in the next decade, and we will be one of them. In order to do this, you're gonna to have to raise a boatload of money. We're currently in the middle of a Series A fundraise. For how what much? valuation? 25 million. You two are two of the most impressive women I've ever seen. The thing that gets me is the valuation at this point. 500,000 for 2% of your business just feels a little punchy. You are gonna need to raise a boatload of money. And so I'm gonna end up getting diluted and diluted and diluted down. So for that reason, I'm out, but good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. I will make you an offer. I'm not agreeing on your valuation. I understand this may cause some heartache with this a round you're doing, but I also bring a lot of value in who I am and what I can do. I'll do this deal for the 500K. Um, I'd like 8%. All right, thank you. I'd like wow. to hear. How much are you raising in this round? We're raising 10 million. Do you have any flexibility on the equity? Are you willing to give up more for the 500,000? More equity for 500,000? Yeah. Would you consider his 8%? Uh, we'd do 8% for 1 million. I'll do that deal. Listen, ladies. I'll do that deal. I, wait, listen, guys, listen, listen. Look at me. You are badass women. I love badass women. You blow me away. You're so impressive. I want to be on this journey with you really, really, really badly. I would like 500,000 for 4%, but I want to be non dilutive through the next round. So guys, my offer still is there at a hundred, a million dollars rather, for eight percent. And obviously, I have the history and plant-based foods, and already have companies that I can connect you with that are my companies. I would love to have both of you. Would no. you consider going well, in together? No. I will tell you this: I have some major corporations behind me that want to help me with women in tech and women just like yourselves, and they are big presence. Um, Everybody's got. Little, so listen, yeah. we all have something, but you just have to see who do you want along with you for the journey. Exactly I'm going to be right. in it with my heart and soul, in it to win it. Three badass women. Mark, would you go to seven percent? Yeah. Cuban, you have a deal. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> Thank you. Bummer. Thanks, Thank guys. You. Bummer. Great job. Thank you so much. Great job. Beth, Thank you. Very impressive. Thank you. Congrats. Good luck, you guys. Thank you. Mark is a leader in the plant-based space. He's invested in a number of other companies, and so we're really glad to have him on board. Seaweed is the most planet-friendly source of protein around, and our bacon is going to be the first of many products that get seaweed onto the plates of every American and everyone in the world. I would have liked to have been along for the journey, but you out moneyed me. It happens. Damn. Oh, it happens. <laughs> Mark the Richie man. <laughs>